One of the biggest mistakes that I see people make with a TFSA is that they designate their spouse or their common law partner as a beneficiary and not a successor holder. So what's the difference? When you designate your spouse or your common law partner as a beneficiary, all the investments inside the TFSA will be distributed to them on your death. That means those investments will be held in a non-registered account. So any investment income they earned on those investments will be subject to tax. We are talking about interest, dividends, and capital gains. All of them will be subject to tax. They do have an option to put those investments inside their TFSA. But remember, if they want to do that, they need to make sure that they don't exceed their own TFSA contribution limit. So if their TFSA is maxed out, they won't be able to put those investments inside their TFSA. Designating your spouse or your common law partner as a beneficiary is not the worst outcome, but there's a better way. If you designate them as a successor holder, then the entire TFSA account will be transferred to them on your death. They will still receive your investments, it's just those investments will be inside the TFSA. That means any investment income that they earn on those investments will not be subject to tax. Also, transferring TFSA to them is not subject to their TFSA contribution limit. So let's say they have a TFSA with investments worth $200,000 and they max out, and you have a TFSA with $300,000. On your death, your TFSA will be transferred to them. They will hold a TFSA with investments worth $500,000. So how can you designate your spouse or your common law partner as a successor holder? The first option is you can do it from the get-go. So when you open a TFSA, in the application, you can designate your spouse or your common law partner as a successor holder. The second option is when you have already opened an account and you did not designate your spouse or your common law partner as a successor holder, you can call your financial institution and ask them to change it. They may ask you to fill a form, but it's quite a simple process. And the third option is that you can designate them in your will, and that designation will override all the previous designations. So for example, let's say when you open the account, you designated your spouse as a beneficiary. They will be a successor holder because of the will. So they will receive your entire TFSA account instead of the assets inside the TFSA. If you found this video useful, make sure to hit that like button. I'm Sam, I work as a tax manager at one of the big four accounting firms. I'll be posting a lot of tax content for Canadians on this channel, so make sure to subscribe.